Capricorn, Capricorn. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch. All right. Um, when I say your person's energy, it can be flip flopped and reversed. So don't force anything to fit. It could be your energy too. All right. All right. Overall energy for Capricorn's person. We have disruption, recognition, and reward, emotional withdrawal, and choose wisely. There's a disruption. Somebody pulled their emotions back or shut down emotions or energy here. There's some kind of big decision that they're going to have to make. Let me see if I can get one more. I feel like it's incomplete. Give me one more for overall energy. Financial and material changes, right. Okay, so they're trying to make some kind of decision when it comes to financial and material changes. Let's see, let's see. Current energies, current situation for Capricorn's person. What's going on with Capricorn's person? Chariot trying to pick a path, trying to gain some kind of truth, clarity, honesty, victory, and success. They're planning, <laughs> trying to come up with a plan, trying to manifest something, taking those thoughts and dreams and turning them into reality planning something or rebuilding something they're not abandoning something though so i feel like this person they might be a little bit withdrawn but i don't think that they're gone i don't think they straight up abandoned this connection but i feel like they might be a little distant or shut down they could be focusing <laughs> stability money this could be you capricorn <laughs> Stability and money. Um, I have a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I also have Libra energy, so cold, cut off. I kind of, with these two together and they're facing away, this person could be battling from like within right now with their emotions and their logic. So they might be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. They may come off as super loving and caring, but then also very cold and cut off. Ice Queen, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Cups. So, yeah, they're going back and forth. You're getting a mixed signal from this person completely, Capricorn. I feel like you're just like, what, what is happening? They're One minute they're cold, the other minute they're hot, one minute they're loving and caring, the next minute they're snappy. I, I feel like this person is, they're trying to do something. What are they trying to do? It could just be stress, too. They could be carrying a lot of stress. They do have something that disrupted their flow. Let me clarify that. What disrupted this? Something in their plan. They got blocked somehow from being on the same page, working together as a team, some kind of a plan that they're trying to manifest or, or build on. That Three of Pentacles. I'm not getting that as a third party cheating scenario i'm getting it as they're trying really hard to manifest something and there's disruptions and it's making them like all over the place their energy so it's confusing you and you're not understanding what's going on with this person so let's see blockages mm -hmm. So you may not be getting emotion from this person and it's confusing you. Again, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So Ace of Cups, new beginning in love or emotion, Queen of Cups. I feel like this person's on like an emotional roller coaster. Um, the world, closing out a cycle, learning some kind of a lesson, starting a new chapter is being blocked. The Wheel of Fortune, so not moving things in their favor or your favor. Uh, this could be just, again, screeching halt. Something came to a, a stop. I don't think it's an end. I think it could just be, again, disruptions. So let's see. What else is blocking or interfering with this connection? Could be family. There could be something with family, loyalty. Something came crashing down. Stability. 
came crashing down. It's confusing. Rebuilding, rebuilding. Now, maybe they're, they're feeling like they took two steps forward or one step forward, two steps back. I don't know. I feel like there's something. This keeps coming out. The Three of Pentacles keeps coming out. It's a third time. Three of Pentacles is working together as a team or being on the same page, rebuilding something or building something, focused on it, trying to take your manifestations and turn them into reality. So this person is like really focused on something. And that's leaving you confused. Maybe there is something also with family stability that got shaken up or crashing down creating confusion. I'm not seeing like toxicity or cheating or I'm not seeing that yet. Let's see. How does this person feel about you? Yeah. All right. So they see you as like the go-getter, passionate, forward moving, born leader, which Capricorn you are. Um, I don't think this person... wants to fight with you. In fact, I feel like they want to communicate and talk to you. I don't think they want fighting and drama. Or they feel you don't at all, which you don't. I feel like you guys do not like drama at all. Hate it. There's, they still feel chemistry, passion, attraction, desire. You got cold too. So when they went, you mirrored them. When they... When they when they pulled out their sword and went ice queen, so did you. And now, so Ten of Pentacles is blockage, interference with that tower. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it's it's almost like their cause has this big effect, right? That them having all these disruptions, it's trickling down onto you and now you're trying to make sense of it and they don't know how to make sense of it. So I feel like this is a, a, a very frustrating energy because they don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. So it's not in alignment right now. How else do they feel about you? Yeah, you're both being cold and cut off towards each other. This person still feels passionate about you, though, Capricorn. Like, they're still into you. They're, they're still way into you. They don't want you to be confused. So why is there such a misalignment here? They feel like you're intuitive. You make them happy. They see you as happy. You're their wish fulfillment. So I don't. I really feel like it's just literally miscommunication or just a misalignment, a roadblock, a speed bump, something that you're going to overcome, some kind of disruption or obstacle. But again, I'm not seeing anything bad, bad. I'm not seeing like toxic third party cheating. I'm not seeing any of that. I'm seeing literally like this person has a lot that they're trying to work on and maybe they can't give you the 100% that you're hoping for and it's leaving you confused because maybe a, shortly ago they were giving you that 100% and now they're they're not so you're wondering if something's wrong i don't think anything's wrong this it's actually kind of like a genuine reading or like a real life like could happen to anybody type of reading Let's see. What's going to happen here, Capricorn? What's going to happen? Conflict. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. Okay, so there might be some kind of like an argument, but it's going to change your perspectives, both of you. So I feel like there might be like a little bit of conflict going on, but then, yeah, you're you're going to see each other's points of view. So you're going to get back into that realignment. Yeah, wish fulfillment. Healing, wish fulfillment again. So double wish fulfillment. Yeah, 
attention, victory and success, healing, two of cups. If somebody, somebody's walking away from like holding back. So that's good. I feel like this tension is building and building and building and the, the confusion is building and building and building and then it's going to burst <laughs> into a change in perspective, coming back into realignment and moving things forward. So good, good. I don't see this ending. I don't see walking away. I feel like walking away from holding back. It's probably going to be one of those conversations where it's like, why didn't you just tell me that to begin with? I could have helped you or I would have understood. Why did you have to shut down on me or just pull your energy back? Like, I feel like it's going to be one of those things like, I want to help you. Let me help you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe they were too embarrassed to tell you or, or something like that. But Again, I, it's a genuine connection. I don't see anything bad, crazy, chaotic, just misalignment. All right, let's see. Reaching your goal. Everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. And whatever that disruption was, you're going to reach your goal. I feel like it's going to be smoothed out, right? Take a leap of faith. Only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. Magnetic connection. It's a big card today. Um, there is a strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. Pay attention to red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. So, again, I'm not saying that there is red flags. I'm saying with this all going on, you may have been like, are these red flags? They may have been like, are these red flags? You know, is this person cheating? Are they doing something sneaky? Are they going behind my back? Why are they so shut down? Those come across as red flags, right? So that's just the questioning of that. I don't think there is any. Um, I mean, there's always red flags, right? There's always, but I don't think there's any you got to worry about. All right, um, so family, again, something with family or stability um, here. Ghosted, disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. That could have been how that person felt or you felt. Secret crush, admirer, attraction, suitor, butterflies, party, celebration, event, public, social gathering. Maybe this person's going to come in and sweep you off your feet and take you out on a date. I don't know. Surprise you. I feel like they do carry a lot of anxiety too, which is probably what brought this on. Maybe they just felt not good enough or something along those lines. I don't think you have much to worry about with this though. All right. It's good. It's all good. All right. Let's see. Letters could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a name, could spell a word of significance, place it where you see fit. All right, Y-L-R-T-S-N-E-P-B-A. So Y-L-R-T-S-N-E-P-B-A. All right, we got numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, and angel number and age. We have uh, 2699. That was loud. Sorry if that hurt your ears. Eight. Two, six, eight, nine. So February, um, June, August, September. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. <laughs> um, could be any sign, you guys. Uh, could be something in their, um, in their chart. Strong placements in their chart. Something could happen during that season. So we have Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Leo. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, again, could be any sign. I have a lot of other signs that are here in front of me. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you this week.